What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. And we're about to jump into a very special topic. And this really goes for anyone who is seeking financial advice. A lot of us are starting off at different spots within our financial journeys. And with that said, there's a lot of confusion along the way. There's a bunch of different terminology and there's a lot of rabbit holes you can definitely get lost in just within the realm of personal finance. Which is why the earlier you learn about this, the better. And the earlier you get advice and different paths on how to navigate through the hectic world that is personal finance, the better you will be off in the future. And there's so much to personal finance I don't believe is possible to do it all by yourself and learn all by yourself without anyone teaching you or mentoring you or anything like that because it's easy to get lost, it's easy to get misguided, it's easy to fall for scams. The reason I'm saying all that is because when I was younger and I was getting started, I wish I had a guide. I wish I knew how to navigate better through the real world and just with my personal finances, how to manage my money, how to budget my money, how to save my money. When you're dealing with the real world and you're figuring out how to navigate through your job and you're first getting out on your own, or even if you've been out on your own for several years and you're still trying to figure this personal finance thing out, it is very difficult and it's time consuming. And I'll be honest, it's not the most fun thing in the world to do sit down and crunch numbers and figure out what goes where that ain't fun a few ways to not do this alone is to read books seek guidance seek mentorship from other people who obviously know what they're doing who have maybe gotten somewhere in life where you want to get to whether you know if, if you want to get to a point where you, you're making six figures a year it's best to probably learn from somebody who's already there you get what i'm saying if you want to save a certain amount of money it's best to learn from somebody who's got a track record of being able to save money and they're not just splurging on any and everything if you want to learn about investing you want to get somebody that already has good results because it is very very easy to get lost the thing that triggered me to say all of that i actually just got an email very long email and I've, I get a series of these every now and then just, you know, with certain questions and wanting guidance on certain things. And it's very valid because none of these things are really spelled out to any of us. Growing up, you don't really learn about it. And as an adult, you don't really learn about it until you're like in it. You don't really learn about debt until you're in it. We're going to change that with this channel. And there were a lot of things that I learned on my own the hard way when I was already in it. But... I was fortunate enough to get a mentor in life and he wasn't necessarily my personal finance mentor. He mentored me, you know, professionally, but he gave me some valuable information about personal finances too. And then I went on to, <clears throat> and then I went on to talk to people who were richer than me, people who were multimillionaires. They dropped some knowledge. They recommended books. And then I went on to continue improving in life and making more money. And as I did that, I learned about lifestyle inflation, not just regular inflation, but lifestyle inflation, the type that you actually upgrade your lifestyle just because you're making more money. I learned about all that stuff early on before I got to the point where I was making more money. And so that prepared me to not get into that trap that everyone else falls into because it's very, very easy to get into. Everyone wants to be comfortable. Everyone wants to live a luxurious lifestyle for the most part. And it's because a lot of us feel that we deserve that type of lifestyle because we work so hard. We work 40, 50, 60 hour weeks at work. So why can't we go home to a luxurious type of lifestyle? But what they don't tell you is, yeah, you deserve all of that, but it's better if you grind right now and then enjoy the fruits of your labor a few years from now. Just a few years of sacrifice. It could be two to five years of sacrifice. It could be five, six, seven years. I don't know how long it's going to take, but if you're telling me you can't sacrifice that amount of years for a luxurious lifestyle that you can actually afford, you're on the wrong channel. Because I'm not telling you you got to wait 40 years to get there. That's how the system is right now where you basically have to invest through your workplace, through your 401k for 40 years, and then maybe by the end of that 40th year, you'll be able to go ahead and retire and be comfortable for the rest of your life. Maybe. And that's if you make the right decisions. But in that, they don't train you how to save your money, how to budget your money, how to get out of debt the right way. They don't show you how to prioritize between the three. They don't show you how to invest outside of your 401k because that's not the only type of investment there is. They don't teach you about the stock market. They don't teach you about passive income. All you really learn about is how to trade your time for money. And there's nothing wrong with trading time for money, by the way. I'm just saying there's more ways to make money than just that. And I just remember when I was younger, like, 
six years younger to be exact. I'm 27 today. Today is my birthday. Give me a like on this video for my birthday. You know what I'm saying? But I remember asking myself questions when I was younger, like, man, how am I supposed to figure all this stuff out? Like, how much am I supposed to save a month? How much am I supposed to budget? Like, how much money is supposed to go towards which bills? Like, I don't understand how this stuff works. What's more important, my debt or my savings? Am I supposed to be investing? Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, these were the types of questions I was asking myself. And I was second guessing myself a lot. And I didn't understand how to create passive income or even more active income from that matter. Like, I just, I felt very lost. So, I did something about it. This book right here. I wrote this book. It's called The Wealth Journey, A Guide to Financial Freedom. And my name is at the bottom in a nice orange color. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't know if y'all could see the book because I do have the blurry background action on my camera. So I don't know if it blurred the book out or not. But either way, uh, you saw the, the book and everything at the beginning of this video. So that's what it looks like. But that's the book that I wrote as a solution to anyone who is seeking financial advice and wants to get started and wants to make extra income, who wants to learn how to save, who wants to learn how to get out of debt, who wants to learn how to uh, interview for jobs who wants to learn how to invest and make strong passive income for the rest of their lives. That is who I wrote this book for. Anyone who was seeking financial advice, because when I think about this book, I think about every solution to every problem and every question I had when I was 21 years old and didn't know nothing about nothing. Don't worry, I'm actually grammatically correct in the book, but this is just how I talk in day-to-day -day life. It talks about delayed gratification and it goes several layers deep it doesn't just talk about saving money. It talks about things that you actually don't even think about that really help out your monetary value in the future. It breaks down how to save money, how to calculate everything. It gives you the strategies. It shows you how to get out of debt. And it, it, it actually goes in depth on the types of debt, how to get out of them, and which ones to prioritize. All the questions that I was wanting to know is all up in there. And I, I know that a lot, a lot of the questions that I wanted to know were a lot of the questions that you guys ask. So it's actually an honor to see some of these questions because I'm like, man, I, I used to ask the same thing. And, a, and back then, I act like it was forever ago, but it was, it was kind of a long time ago. But back then, the answers weren't like right there in my face. And the answers I did get, in my opinion, were subpar because at this time now that I've actually grown and I actually know quite a bit about personal finance, I feel like a lot of that commonly told advice is just dead wrong and it's not going to benefit you. And I, I break that down. I break down, you know, if you're somebody who's making good money, but you don't know exactly where to put some of your money, this book is for you because I didn't know where to put my money. I, I just had my money chilling in the savings account, to be honest with you. I hope y'all don't hear this in the background, but somebody's cutting grass or blowing leaves or something i don't know but um the show is gonna still go on i just want y'all to know if y'all hear anything in the background that's all that is they're about loud too good lord but yeah like i always wanted to know where to put my money at and then you know i put my money into some investments that were not good you know what i'm saying after i got a little bit of confidence to start investing it's just you know it tells you where you should put your money at it tells you good places to put your money in that's going to guarantee growth it walks you through the mindset behind investing and investing in yourself, like not even just investments. I'm talking about investing in yourself. I walk you through how I invested in myself and what the payoff of that was. I walk you through investing in other assets like stocks, index funds, and things of that nature. And I walk you through the specific ones because we're always going to say, well, I get investing stocks and index funds, but which ones? So I list it out and I lay it out. I show you exactly how it's supposed to go. I show you what their returns were over the last 20 year period, you know, since their inception. And that just means since they've IPO'd, basically since they've existed on the public stock exchange. But you see what I'm saying? It answers all those questions. And right now I'm running a free promotion on Amazon for the ebook version of The Wealth Journey. Um, the physical copy, you still definitely have to pay for. You know what I'm saying? And the hardcover copy is actually coming very soon. I actually just got it mailed to me, so I'm waiting to get it. I should be getting it today or tomorrow. And once I check it out, make sure everything is good, I'm going to release it to the public, and that's going to also be available on Amazon. By the way, this whole book is on Amazon. You can catch it up here. You can catch it down here in the description. But that is what this book is for. 
And the reason I'm telling you guys all about this book now is because I didn't really talk too, too much about it earlier on. Like I hinted at it. I told you guys that I was launching a book and I was super excited about it. But in this video, I just want to tell you if you want clarity around your financial situation, if you want to learn more ways to make more money, because I go over how to make more money in several different ways, not just with a job, not just with a side hustle, not just with a side business. But I go over it all and I go over how to deeply get into it. I tell you about which fields to look into, which ones are the most profitable. I tell you what salary you could expect from that over, you know, a one to five year period. And you're learning from someone who has one, made a lot of mistakes, but two, has also had a lot of successes and a good amount of industry experience. And a recent college grad because I graduated back in 2017. So I know what the industry is looking for. And I already knew back then what the trajectory was for the next 10, 20, 30 years. And to this day, like I still stay up to date and study like what we're, where we're going toward in the future and what the industry standard is going to be as far as skills and competencies and things of that nature, things that are actually profitable to get into now. Every college major you go into, every trade you go into is not going to be hot 20 years from now. That's a fact. But I'm breaking down right now what is going to still be hot 20, 30 years from now, what is still going to be profitable. I break it all down. I break it down. I break down the mindset, all of that stuff. I'm getting fired up. I need to slow down some. But uh, I know a lot of you didn't really know about the book, but here you go. I wanted to bring this forward on my birthday and let you guys know it technically released yesterday. I released it a little earlier just so I, I knew I didn't want Amazon to be tripping because they say you get like 72 hours before it's available on Amazon. So I release it on like the 10th. I didn't want it to take three days. You know what I'm saying? So I had it up there and then I already got like a bunch of I already got a bunch of traction on it. Uh, over 212 people have copies right now, whether it's an ebook copy or a physical paperback copy. And I appreciate every bit of the support. I did announce it a few times, but just on the post thread, like on the community tab. And I don't think a lot of people really get to see that. I don't, I don't know how, how many of y'all it shows up for, but either way, I know more of y'all actually see the videos. So that's why I'm giving y'all all of the information in this video if you were interested in buying the book. And I'll ask this of all of you because I do really, really appreciate all of your support. I have put this book on sale and I have made it available to as many people as possible, literally as many people as possible right now. So if you do decide to get it, if you decide, if you do decide to download it or purchase it, it doesn't really matter to me. But do me a favor. If you read the book and it's adding value to you, do me a favor. First of all, follow me on Instagram which is also linked in the description. But second of all, I want you to take a screenshot of the ebook and tag me in it. Just, just tag me in it. You know what I'm saying? That way I, I want to see the amount of impact. Cause like, yeah, I can see in terms of downloads, how many people downloading it, but I want to see the impact. Like I, I would love to see a screenshot picture of an ebook or a picture of the paperback with something circled or underlined or something saying you know, with like fire signs or something like just to know the level of impact that I am getting because I didn't write the book just to make money. I didn't write the book just to get notoriety. I wrote the book because I wanted to add value and I would like to know what specifically about the book adds value because that's going to show me what I should focus on more to add even more value because sometimes when you're doing the work and your head is down and all you're doing is the work, the work, the work. Sometimes you're kind of blind to what could impact. Like when you're doing the work, it seems like all of it could impact. But some things may be like, okay, yeah, I already knew that. But some things are like, wow, I, I never thought of it that way. And I've had a lot of those in my journey as I read books, as I listened to podcasts. And, and it tended to be some of the least popular things that impacted me the most. The least popular concepts or Things that no one really ever thinks about. Those are the things that impacted me the most. So anyway, I would definitely appreciate if y'all did that. I want y'all to show some love. Show me some screenshots. Show me some pictures. Tag me on Instagram and let me know how you feel about the book. And of course, please leave a review on Amazon. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the journey because it's literally called the wealth journey. You know what I'm saying? So let me know how you think about it as you read through the book how it flows, just let me know what you think. And also let me know in the comments down below if you read it, what you think about it. Uh, this right here, it's a pretty quick read. It's about 170 pages if you're looking at the paperback and hardback version of it. You could probably read it in five days or less if you're on a weekend or something, probably in the whole weekend if you wanted to. But you know, something 
I realized is growing up, there wasn't anything cool about reading or working out or eating right or, you know, listening to something informative such as podcasts. None of that stuff was cool. But obviously we're in a new wave right now where these things are becoming more popular. And I want to continue to make these things more popular because there's nothing more valuable than learning from someone else's mistakes and experiences while also them giving you guidance on how the game really works from an inside perspective. That's valuable. And I didn't make this book boring. I actually made it pretty entertaining. But yeah, I throw some jokes in there. I throw some stories in there. So there's good storytelling. There's good jokes in there. And there's entertainment value that's going to try. I wanted to pull people in as much because I read a bunch of personal finance books that frankly were not really entertaining to read, but they gave me good information. I wanted to give you both. But yeah, this is my first book. I'm extremely proud about it. Um, this just came in the mail like literally a day or two ago and my heart was doing this. Like it's, it's a crazy feeling when you open up, you know what I'm saying, a package of the first book you've ever written and you flip through the pages and you just see the whole thing. Like it's, it's crazy. It really is. And you're like, wow, this is about to get sent to, to the world basically. It's a really crazy, surreal feeling, and I am extremely thankful for it, and I really appreciate anyone who's already gotten their copy of this. Anyways, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth, so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.